So start off by finding a comfortable seat. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're on your knees or whether you're cross-legged, um, just find somewhere that you can sit comfortably. Um, and just have a moment to really sit on your sit bones, gently close your eyes, letting your hands relax in your lap in whichever way is comfortable for you, whether that be palms up or palms down. And just take a couple of nice deep breaths and settle in for our half hour practice today. So as we sit here, take a moment to notice the breath. Notice your inhale, the length of it, the depth of it. And notice the exhale, the length, the depth. Whether your inhale and your exhale is quite evenly matched or whether one is longer than the other. Notice where the breath moves your body. If your breath is deep and long and making it all the way down to your belly, or whether it's shorter and shallower and sat up in your chest, or maybe somewhere between the two. Notice how the breath feels as it comes into the body, through the nose and the throat, down into the lungs and around your heart space. And then notice how the breath feels as it leaves your body. Just observing it coming and going. Take a moment to check in with how you feel today. Whether there's any areas of stress or tension in the body. Notice how you feel emotionally. And notice how busy the mind is not trying to change any of that or judge it. Just noticing, making a note. Then we'll start to deepen the breath. You can keep your eyes closed or flutter them open and take a soft gaze just in front of you. The first breath we'll do today is 7-11. So we breathe in for the count of seven and out for the count of 11. It's a really good breath for if you're ever feeling anxious <clears throat> the count doesn't have to be slow, it's obviously quite a long count, so the count can be quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Or it could be a bit slower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just taking nice deep breaths. The most important thing to focus on is making the breath as long as the count. In two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
do another five breaths like this in time with your own count. whenever you are with your counting let that go on the end of your next exhale now working into the shoulders a little sometimes when we're breathing we hold a lot of tension in our shoulders so we'll start literally by hunching the shoulders up towards our ears and then relaxing them down to the sides hunching the shoulders up towards our ears, relaxing them down to the side, hunching them up towards our ears, relaxing them down towards the side. Then take your left arm behind your back and bring the fingers round to the other side. Um, it doesn't matter if they don't reach all the way round, as long as your arm's going in that direction. You can always put your other arm behind and pull that hand. And then turn your, not turn, drop your ear towards your shoulder away from that left arm. So you're dropping your ear towards the right. Yeah, excellent. It's a really good stretch for down the side of the neck. And then drop your chin down towards the collarbones and that will move the stretch further around towards the back of the neck. Or you might feel it somewhere else. You might feel it in your shoulder or your chest. It depends where your areas of tightness are. Then bring the head gently back up to center. Release that left arm and take the right arm around the back. Either holding onto the fingers or pulling it at the wrist and then take the left ear towards the left shoulder. So we're stretching out down the other side. Good. Just gently breathing whilst we're in these stretches. And then take the chin down towards the collarbone. And gently bring the head back up to center, release the hands. This time we'll take the chin down towards the chest, keeping the chin as close into the throat as you can. Interlace the fingers and cup them around the back of the skull. And then press your head back up into your hands as you resist that movement with your hands. And then we'll release that one off, bring the arms back down by your sides, hands on the knees, and circle through the shoulders. So really squidging the shoulders up towards the ears and then rolling the shoulder blades down the back. And then move that in the other direction, squeezing the shoulder blades together and then rolling the shoulders forwards. And then keeping the hands on the knees, circling through the ribs. So we're keeping the um, sit bones still as we sit on the floor. 
and the shoulders, there'll be a little bit of movement, but we're trying to keep them reasonably above the pelvis, just circling through the centre of the body. The middle of the back is often where we get stuck, so it's really good just to give it a little oiling and then take it in the other direction. Good, really getting some movement there around the bottom of the lungs before we do our next breath. Good, then come back to centre, find your really comfortable seat again. The next breath we'll do is three part breath. So we're breathing, the inhale is split into three parts and then we exhale out for six. So we breathe into the belly for two breaths. We, oh, so for a count of two, sorry. We breathe into the ribs for a count of two. Then we breathe into the chest for a count of two. And then we breathe out for six. Really concentrate on trying to relax those shoulders down. Sometimes when we take a deep breath, the natural instinct is to kind of hold tension in our shoulders. So whilst we're through the whole breath, really concentrate on keeping those shoulders relaxed. So any air you have in you, let's exhale it out. Then belly, two, pause. Ribs, two, pause. Chest, two, pause. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Belly, two, pause, ribs, two, pause, chest, two, pause, six, five, four, three, two, one, belly, pause, ribs, pause, chest, six, five, four, three, two, one, in, pause, in, pause, in, pause, six, five, four, three, two, one, in, pause, in, pause, in, Pause, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, pause, in, pause, in, pause, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, pause, in, pause, in six five four three two one good keep those shoulders relaxed in pause in pause in six five four three two one in 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 six five four three two one in 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 six five four three two one in 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 six five four three two one last one in 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 six five four three two one then just let the breath come back to normal for a moment 
The next breath we'll do before we move into a, a restorative pose, and I'm going to give you some options as to whether you've got a, a cushion nearby or not, is even breath. <clears throat> so this time we'll put one hand on our chest and one hand on our belly so that we can really connect with the breath and you can really feel it moving in your body. With this breath, we try and breathe evenly into the chest and the belly. Breathing in for a count of six, small pause, then breathing out for the count of six. So really concentrating on making the breath as strong on the one count as it is on the sixth, sixth count. And the same on the exhale, we're breathing out just as strongly on the sixth count as we are on the one count. So breathe any air you have in your body out, then in, two, three, four, five, six. Out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, five, six. Out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, five, six. Out, five, four, three, two, one. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. In, out, in, out, in. Out, in, out, in, out, in. In. Out. In. Out. In. Excellent. then just let the breath come back to normal. So for our meditation today, you can either lay in Savasana, or if you have a couple of cushions handy or a bolster, then it would be good if you could lay in fish, because a lot of today has been about relaxing the shoulders, opening up the chest and breathing more deeply. And fish allows you to do exactly that. So, if you have a cushion, you could put a couple of cushions just behind uh, the middle part of your back or roll up a blanket. 
um, or you can just lay on the floor in Savasana. Um, it's just, it's nice sometimes just to open up the chest because we don't often move in, in that kind of way. Um, I've got a bolster here, which is great, but obviously it's much bigger than a cushion, so it will open the chest a bit more. So just place your cushions in your middle back and gently lay back down over them, relaxing your head down. So you want to make sure your head is supported as well. Arms down by the sides, palms face up and the legs can be out long with the feet relaxed and falling open. Or if you're more comfortable in butterfly legs, bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees come out to the sides. And just completely relax in that position. To start with, just let the breath come and go as it pleases, allowing the back to gently open, allowing the chest to gently open, feeling how much freer it is to breathe in this position. Starting by simply relaxing and listening. Simply closing your eyes and allowing you to hear all the sounds that are going on around you. Listening to the general hum and buzz of the world as if you were listening to music not trying to identify the sounds or putting names on them, simply allowing them to play with your eardrums. Let them go. Let your ears hear whatever they want to hear without judging the sounds. There are no proper or improper sounds. It doesn't matter if someone coughs or sneezes or the dog barks. It's all just sound. And if I am talking to you right now and you are doing this, simply listen to the sound of my voice just as if it were noise. Not trying to make any sense out of what I'm saying. I often don't make sense anyway, but your brain will take care of that automatically. You don't have to try to understand anything at all. Just listen to the sound. And as you pursue that experiment, you'll very naturally find that you can't help but name the sounds and identify them. You will go on thinking, that is to say talking to yourself inside your head automatically. It's important to let those thoughts happen. If you try to force them out of your mind, it will have precisely the same effect as if you were trying to smooth rough water with a flat iron it will just be disturbed all the more. What you do is this, as you hear sounds coming up in your head, thoughts, you simply listen to them as part of the general noise going on, just as you're listening to the sound of my voice, just as you could be listening to cars going by or to birds chattering outside the window. So look at your own thoughts as just noises and soon you will find that the so-called outside world and the so-called inside world come together. They are both a happening. Your thoughts are a happening, just like the sounds going on outside and everything is simply happening. All you need to do is watch it. 
Now in this process, another thing that is happening, which is very important, is that you are breathing. And as you start to relax further, you allow your breath to run at its own will. Not doing any breathing exercises like we've done all class. Just watching your breath breathing the way it wants to breathe. Then notice a curious thing about this. You would probably say, I breathe, because you feel that breathing is something you do voluntarily, just in the same way as you might be walking or talking. But you'll also notice that when you're not thinking about breathing, your breathing goes on just the same. So this is the curious thing about breath. It can be both voluntarily and involuntarily. You can feel one day I am doing it and later it is happening to me. And that is why breathing is the most important part of meditation because it will show you as you become aware of your breath, that the hard and fast division that we make between what we do on the one hand and what happens to us on the other hand is subjective. So as you watch your breathing, you will become aware that both the voluntary and involuntary aspects of your experience are all just one happening. That may at first seem a little scary because you might think well am I just the puppet of a happening the mere passive witness of something that is going on completely beyond my control or on the other hand am I really doing everything that's going on the truth of the matter is that both things are true everything is happening to us and on the other hand, we can also do everything. Breath is really important in this way because the more we voluntarily control our breath, the better it becomes when it's automatic. There's lots of examples of how these two things merge. It's your eyes that turn into the sunlight. It's the nerve endings in your skin that are turning electric vibrations in the air into heat and temperature. It's your eardrums that are tuning into vibrations in the air, into sound. And in that way, you are creating the world. When we are not talking about it and we are not philosophizing about it, then there is just this happening this noise that doesn't need a name. When you breathe for a while, just letting it happen, not forcing it in any way, you'll discover a curious thing that without making any effort, you can breathe more and more deeply. Simply breathing out is important. It's the breath of relaxation, the same as when we give a sigh of relief. So when you're breathing out, get the sensation that your breath is falling out, dropping, dropping, dropping out. The same sort of feeling you have as if you're setting down, settling down in an extremely comfortable bed you just get as heavy as possible and let yourself go. Let your breath go out in just that way. And when it's thoroughly comfortably out and it feels like coming back again, you don't put it back in, you just let it fall back in. Letting your lungs expand, expand, expand 
until they are comfortably full. Wait a moment. Enjoy that feeling of fullness. Let it stay there and then let it fall out again. In this way, you'll discover that your breath will get naturally easier and easier, slower and slower and more and more powerful. Simply listening to sound, listening to feelings and thoughts as a happening, being aware of basic sensations and you can relax and meditate. No hurry about anything. No worry about the future or what might have happened in the past, what progress you're making. Just be entirely content to be aware of what is in this exact moment. Not being terribly selective or thinking to yourself, I should, or I could, or I must. Just watch whatever is happening, being completely aware of the here and now. And gently bring your awareness back to your body. Noticing the breath, where it moves the body, its temperature, its quality. And take your awareness out to the rest of your body, where it touches the floor or the mat and where there is space in between for light and air. Notice any sounds around you. Then those sounds in the middle distance, maybe just outside the window. And then any distant sounds that you may hear. And very slowly, Prepare yourself to move. Maybe a single finger to start with, or rubbing the thumb across each of the fingertips. Maybe moving the fingers and the toes, or rolling the head from one side to the other. Move your body in whatever way it wants to move. And when you're ready and there's no rush at all, roll over to your side so you roll off your cushion or your blanket. And then gradually come up to seated. Thank you for practicing with me this lunchtime. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on your mats again soon.